Hello all, this video is on getting started with Node MCU Arduino Core. Generally, Node MCU is uh, factory preloaded with the Node MCU firmware, which can be programmed using Lua script. On board Node MCU, there is a CP2102 IC, which provides USB to TTL functionality. Proper driver should be installed so that Windows recognizes this IC. On some clones, they use uh, CH340 IC but uh, CP2102 is uh, preferable as it works up to Windows 10. The GPIO pins of Node MCU are 3.3 volt uh, level logic and cannot tolerate 5 volt. These uh, Node MCU pins are all uh, breadboard friendly and on board there is 3.3 volt regulator so that you can uh, safely provide 5 volt at V in pin of Node MCU. Now let us see some of the important GPIO pins. On left hand side top is the ADC 0 pin which is the one and only ADC pin of Node MCU. This can accept only a maximum of 1 volt only. EN pin is the CHPD chip enabled pin which is pulled high internally. RST pin when pulled low resets ESP. On right hand side is the GPIO 0 pin when pulled low ESP enters bootloader mode. GPIO 2 pin is used to detect boot mode and as an output to control blue LED which is seen on the ESP chip near Wi-Fi antenna. GPIO 15 can be used as uh, output only. It has an internal pull down resistor. GPIO 16 uh, is used to wake up uh, ESP from uh, deep sleep mode. Now let us see the Arduino core installation. Under file preferences, you have to copy and paste the JSON link. Uh, the link is given in the description below. You can search for the Arduino core for ESP8266 and you can find this link in the uh, GitHub. Copy this link and then paste it under File Preferences. Now under Tools, uh, Board, click on Boards Manager and search for ESP8266. Locate the ESP8266 uh, community and then select the latest version to install. This will install the Arduino core for ESP8266 along with the uh, required libraries. This will take some time uh, depending on the uh, internet speed. Now let us see the first example. Before uploading the sketch, uh, first let us do the settings. Under boards, Select the board as uh, Node MCU version 1, uh, which is for ESP 12E, and then you have to uh, select the COM port. For this, open the device manager and then connect the Node MCU uh, with the USB port of your PC. A COM port will be allotted, which is shown in the device manager. A CP2102 IC is used. Uh, you will see the COM port against the CP2102. Note on this COM port number and then select the COM port in the uh, settings. The flash size is uh, selected as 4M and then the upload speed is uh, 11500. And programmer is USB ASP. Under examples, uh, under ESP8266, select the blink sketch. No need to modify uh, anything in this blink sketch. The LED underscore built-in is mapped to the internal LED on Node MCU. So no need to change anything. Just click on upload. The upload will start. It will take some time compared to the regular sketch as it is just like uh, uh, replacing the full firmware it will take some more time while the sketch is being uploaded you can see the blue LED blinking and then finally the uh, built-in LED flashes according to the code now let us connect an external LED at GPIO4 which is pin D2 generally in node MCU we refer uh, GPIO pins as DX and not as GPIO pins. You refer as uh, D1, D2 like that and not GPIO. Connect the short lead of LED 
to ground pin and the long lead through a resistor to uh, D2 which is the GPIO4 now in the sketch you have to define the built-in LED as D2 you have to add one statement uh, hash uh, define built built-in uh, LED underscore built-in D2 and then save this file and then click on upload while the file is for all the sketches being uploaded the blue LED on uh, ESP chip uh, blinks accordingly indicating that uh, the firmware is being changed finally the LED connected at uh, uh, D2 blinks in the next example we shall fade the LED connected at D2 in the code we shall define the LED as D2 uh, remember to use the notation DX and not the actual GPIO pin here D2 is uh, GPIO4 uh, we use uh, D2 inside the code and not GPIO4 and inside the setup we define this uh, LED as output using pin mode and inside the loop we use a variable uh, VAL and increase the value using for loop and apply it on LED using the analog write again we decrease the value and uh, apply it on LED using analog write this will give a fade effect on the LED uh, save this file and then upload it to see the effect on the LED fading effect on the LED now let us see the network uh, uh, capabilities of the ESP8266 the ESP8266 uh, can act as a uh, soft IAP access point as well as a uh, client that is a station it can act as a station as well as access point in a home network a router acts as an access point which is connected to the uh, internet service provider the gateway of the router uh, is the IP of the router that is uh, 190 in my case it is 192.168.0.1 this is the default gateway of my router when any client is connected to the uh, router over Wi-Fi it is allotted an IP using the DHCP facility of the router that is uh, dynamic host configuration protocol uh, whenever a client like uh, ESP or uh, a PC is connected to router it is allotted an IP address by DHCP method connect the node MCU to USB of your PC and then note down the COM port from the uh, device manager under settings uh, uh, select the board as node MCU version 1 and then select the COM port allotted now let us see the network access code to begin with we have to include the ESP8266 Wi-Fi dot H header file this Wi-Fi library is enhanced uh, one compared to the Arduino Wi-Fi and as many classes like Wi-Fi, client, server and IP address uh, we'll be using Wi-Fi class functions in this example the two parameters SSID that is the service set ID of your uh, router and the password uh, pass are stored as uh, character arrays both parameters are character strings and stored in character arrays and inside the setup uh, we print the uh, SSID we begin the serial communication at 9600 baud and then print the SSID name and Wi-Fi dot disconnect will uh, disconnect any previous connections of the ESP now initiate the Wi-Fi connection using begin function there is no need to create uh, an object for this Wi-Fi class just Wi-Fi dot begin and then pass on the two parameters uh, the two string parameters SSID and the pass and then we wait until connection is established we use while statement for this uh, 
and we look at the return value of wifi dot status function we check whether the wifi dot uh, status returns wl underscore connected string or not and inside the loop uh, yeah, uh, after a delay of every 500 uh, millisecond we print a dot till the connection is established uh, a dot is printed so every dot is uh, half a second once the connection is established it jumps out of the loop just by counting the number of dots uh, we can uh, conclude the time elapsed before connection is established now the name of the SSID uh, connected is printed using Wi-Fi dot SSID we use the pr uh, serial dot print line command uh, and Wi-Fi dot SSID function to print the name of the SSID uh, the node MCU is connected with the local IP assigned to the node MCU uh, by the router is printed using Wi-Fi dot local IP the local IP function of Wi-Fi wi prints the IP allotted to the node MCU the MAC address is uh, printed using Wi-Fi dot MAC address function and then the Wi-Fi dot print diag serial is used to print all the Wi-Fi credentials now save this file and then uh, uh, click on upload open the serial monitor and select the baud rate as 9600 the serial monitor will uh, start uh, uh, printing the uh, result first the SSID name is connected uh, name is printed and then the IP address allotted is uh, printed then the MAC address and then the uh, Wi-Fi dot print diag serial uh, credentials all Wi-Fi credentials are uh, printed this includes the channel number on which node MCU communicates with router the name of the SSID the password of the SSID and RSSI the signal strength of the uh, link all details are uh, printed using this uh, uh, Wi-Fi dot print diag serial now let us see the second example of a uh, network that scans the surrounding network and prints all the SSID names to start with we have to include the Wi-Fi ESP8266 Wi-Fi dot H header file inside the setup we start the serial communication at 115200 baud and Wi-Fi dot disconnect will uh, release the uh, any previous connections of node MCU and we use the scan networks function of Wi-Fi Wi-Fi dot scan networks function is used to uh, uh, find the number of uh, surrounding SSIDs this returns an integer value so we assign this to an uh, integer n this Wi-Fi dot scan networks is assigned to an integer n and using a for loop we iterate and print all the SSID names of the surrounding networks save this file and then click on upload open the serial monitor and select the baud rate as 115200 inside the code we have used 115200 uh, as baud rate so select 115200 now the all the surrounding SSIDs are scanned and the name of the SSIDs are printed thank you for watching